When we compare the 6.8 magnitude earthquake which devastated Kobe, Japan, January 1795 with Fukushima, the evidence just does not stack up. A quick Google Images search of Kobe reveals incredible destruction of buildings, bridges, elevated highways and other infrastructure. Nothing escapes the damage. The Fukushima quake, magnitude 9, struck about 70 kilometers off the coast of Japan on March the 11th, 2011. It sent a 15-meter tsunami crashing over perfectly undamaged bridges, houses, roads and cars, over a populace which had not been warned of the incoming tsunami because there was no Mag-9 earthquake. They were taken completely off guard. It helicopters were waiting and people all over Japan got to watch the tsunami roll in live on TV. What on earth was going on? Ordinarily, the Japanese people are warned of tsunamis. Why weren't they warned? Why was there no structural damage? No reason for them to suspect that a tsunami was coming. The quake must have seemed like nothing special to a nation of people who are used to quakes. In a video taken in one Tokyo newsroom during the Fukushima quake, staff were seen to continue typing at their computer stations totally unfazed by it. A nine magnitude earthquake is more than 100 times stronger than a 6.8 which happened at Kobe. That's 100 times stronger. A mag nine should have devastated everything within a 1,000 kilometer radius. There should have been widespread urban carnage even worse than what Kobe suffered. Yet the Fukushima quake did not cause a single structure to collapse. But don't take my word for it. Go look up the helicopter footage on YouTube. Look at the infrastructure the tsunami was crashing into. Look at every piece of footage on the internet. Find one single building that has fallen due to the quake. Not the water. The quake. Not the slightest bit of damage. Common sense is enough to make you wonder. Jim Stone did more than wonder. He dug up and analyzed the Japanese seismograms. He proved there was no Mag-9 quake and no epicenter out at sea. Instead, there were three simultaneous quakes of much lesser magnitude, all of them inland. The authorities lied about the Nine quake, made it up out of whole cloth. An earthquake did not cause the tsunami. There must have been another cause.